Well, when you sign a legal document like a contract or a will, your document will usually need to be notarized, signed in the presence of a state commission notary. The notary makes sure a person signing a document is who they say they are. Seems pretty important, right? Well, the question, is the state notary program out of date? Two notaries actually contacted us after they saw our Dirty Deeds investigation aired just a little bit ago, and we were exposing the problem of fake real estate deeds and then of course they need to be notarized and then that leaves you with the question of well who's really notarizing them so the notaries say Michigan's program is so out of date it could actually be creating some legal problems for all of us a notary stamp an ink stamp it's not a requirement per state law the notary stamp a well-known symbol of trust but did you know it's not even a requirement for Michigan notaries they don't mandate stamps in in embossers or even a journal all those little things along the way help prevent fraud and here's something else we learned there are about 113,000 commissioned notaries in Michigan but the state doesn't have a numbered notary identification system and this can make things really confusing let me show you there are five notaries in Michigan named William Jackson four notaries by the name of David Smith and that's just in Oakland County. There are five more notaries named David Smith around the state. We found nine Michigan notaries with the name Jennifer Brown. Notary Debbie Lowry of the Michigan Notary Association says the lack of identifying numbers could be a real big problem if your documents are ever called into question. It could be a guessing game. Other states have commission numbers. I, I don't know why we couldn't en enact it here. It's just another layer of fraud protection. And nowhere in the state rules does it say that notaries have to be trained. Suppose you write a will and you have it signed, notarized, and then filed with the county. It could take years before your family discovers any problems with how it's notarized. There are mistakes that happen because notaries aren't trained. Many times banks or courts just reject improperly notarized documents. When someone in Monroe County tried to register a legitimate property deed, the county rejected it, explaining numerous problems with how it was notarized. And in Oakland County, one third of deed rejections are notary related. They do a good job. They use the state directory. The Michigan Notary Association has been taking note. The group meets with county deeds offices to understand how the state's notary program is affecting everybody. Really is affecting everybody. The Michigan Notary Association says it is time to change Michigan's notary laws. Now, the state representatives they've been in contact with about changing the laws didn't return our calls. Of course, we'll stay on top of it. I know you will, but 113,000 notaries across the state, that seems like a lot. Right? And there's so many, and then the names are all the same, and there's no, you know, keeping track of numbers, et cetera. So you can see there's going to be a problem, let's say, if you're going to try to file something, it's something in related to your home or your business. So you definitely need to know about what is going on there. And by the way, they can only charge you $10, in case you were wondering, because we got some calls there in terms of, you know, being scammed. It did a QR code right on the bottom of the screen. That's going to give you, if you click on that, that'll bring you to our dirty deeds investigation into property title fraud. That's going on big time right now, especially in the spring with people buying homes. And after seeing that investigation, that's when the notary started calling and emailing me. Yeah. So it opened up the door to other issues. So if you're having issues, reach out to us. We will definitely check into it for Something you. Something tells me you're going to be hearing from more notaries. Yeah, I bet we will. Unfortunately, yeah. I bet we will. Yeah.